Hey there, this is Gerald with Cigar Stream. Now, if you've been following my more recent reviews, you probably noticed that I've reviewed quite a bit of the Alec Bradley cigars. And tonight, I'm going to follow the same suit and take a look at the Alec Bradley Post Embargo. Now, this is a beautiful looking cigar. And the particular cigar that I'm smoking tonight is a Robusto. It's a 5x52 semi-box press. Kind of has rounded corners, but it's a gorgeous looking stick. And the band on this cigar just really pops. It has the American and Cuban flags on it. And it reminds me kind of sort of like the old political cartoons. It just has a really neat look. Wrapper looks great on this cigar. Got a Honduran wrapper, Honduran and Nicaraguan long fillers. It also has a Honduran and Nicaraguan binder. So it sounds like a really good recipe for for a great smoke tonight so let's cut this guy up light it up and see how good it really is hey guys if you're new to this channel and you enjoy cigar reviews and cigar related artwork consider clicking that subscribe button now let's get on with the alec bradley post embargo review Okay, right out of the gate, this cigar presents a really thick taste and smoke. I mean, it just kind of fills your entire mouth with these rich tobacco notes. A little bit of dark flavors in there as well, but just I feel these rich tobacco notes in my mouth. As I retrohale, there's a slight pepper sting to the retro, and what follows is also a slight sweetness. So I have to say we're off to a really impressive cigar with this stick. If it continues like this, it's going to be a great smoke. So I'll keep working on it, and we'll see how this guy develops as I work my way through the first third. Now this review is a little interesting for me. The flavors in this are, for me, they're hard to identify. I'm not able to pinpoint the exact flavors that I'm picking up. I do pinpoint some that I think that I'm picking up. But as far as the exact flavor goes, I'm having a little difficulty there. But what I'm tasting in the cigar, this is an amazing tasting cigar. I mean, it really is an impressive stick. Now, what I think I'm picking up in the smoke, at first it was more of these tobacco notes, these rich tobacco notes that I was tasting. Now I'm picking up what comes across like a hint of a mild unsweet coffee. Really good flavor. And in the retrohale, that pepper's still there. And that pepper at time does punch my sinuses, although it's smoothed out towards the end of the first third. But what I'm also picking up is this really creamy sweetness. And it's just an amazing taste. The only other flavor I'm really picking up at this time is towards the end of the first third, I also started picking up a little bit of an earthy note. But overall, i just say the... The flavors that this smoke is presenting is pretty amazing and I'm definitely impressed with this stick at this stage. Now if we look at the construction on the cigar, it's a little wobbly but I'm going to let it ride for now. I'm not going to worry about correcting it. The ash is holding on, I mean it's, the ash is a little bit crooked, but I do get this thick solid white ash. The smoke output in the cigar is excellent. Now the draw for me is a little bit snug, but I don't mind it because the smoke that gets fills your mouth, it's like this thick texture. and you know, you get that little bit of a snug draw with that thick texture smoke, and it just seems like they go together. And for me, the experience along with the flavors of this stick is pretty impressive. I'm just really impressed with the flavors at this stage. Looking forward to see how this guy transitions as I work my way through the next two thirds. And for a cigar that's, I'd say, I think it's around $8.10 for a Robusto, um, definitely worth the price. Okay, I'm two thirds down now, and for me, the flavors did change a little bit. The sweet notes that I was picking up in the Retro Hell early on have completely dropped off. Uh, what I pick up now is just more of a like a peppery spice, and at times, uh, especially in my more recent Retro Hells, that pepper does have a little bit of a bite to it. Now, as far as the draw goes, that's been pretty consistent. I do pick up those coffee notes. Every now and there's almost like an almond type taste to it as well. Still a great taste in cigar. I would say the flavors in the first third are probably my favorites up to this stage just because of the sweet notes. However, I'm still really enjoying this stage of the stick. Tastes great, Can't no complaints here. It's just uh, missing those sweet notes um, that I was picking up earlier on. Great taste in cigar still, real impressed with it. And definitely looking forward to see how it finishes off. So I'll come back with an update once I reach the end of the stick. Okay, we're at the end of this journey, and for me, the final third, the Retro Hell was mainly a black pepper. I mean, it had a punch to it. The intensity of it increased quite a bit, so that uh, Retro in the final third definitely uh, had an impact on my sinuses. It was, a, it was a tough Retro Hell to take. So it was mostly a black pepper. Now, as far as uh, when I drew on the cigar, I mainly picked up um, more of a earthiness. At times, there was like a slight wizziness as well. And other times I did pick up a spice, but overall, 
very good tasting scar. This scar was actually pretty delicious and I'd say out of all the Alec Bradleys I've had, I'd say that this one is probably the best tasting one that I've had to date. I mean, I was really impressed with this stick, so of course I would definitely recommend giving this one a try. So if you've had this cigar before, let me know what you think about it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys on the next review.